Well, a while back I did just the intro to uh, The Wind Cries Mary, and I'm going to try to just uh, do the basic, the intro, and go through a verse of it. So let me just play it once. It goes. <laughs> Just uh, barring with my first finger on the sixth fret, the sixth and fifth string. Then my third finger is barring on the eighth fret, the fourth, third, and second. And I'm just walking that up half steps. Then my first finger bars uh, the eighth, the fifth, 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 and fourth string at the eighth fret. I mean, I saw we can you can borrow all four of them and go. This probably make sounds better, but a lot of times I just get lazy and just. Well, maybe I'm hitting all three. Okay, let me take that back. I thought I was just doing two strings. So I'm borrowing at the eighth fret, the fifth, fourth, and third string. But I do a hammer on the fifth string to the tenth fret. I'm gonna go. Walk it up. this done different ways this is just how I do it and that's I'm not saying mine's right it's close enough to sound okay okay after this I hit I'm still at that little bar here at the 10th fret on the fifth and fourth string and I do a hammer to the 12th on the fifth string actually I don't hammer I just pick it I go then I'm hitting fourth and third string because I'm barring the fifth, fourth, and third. Then I do hammer on the fourth string to the twelfth on the fourth string. Back to the fourth and third string. And then I hit the fifth string at the twelfth fret. I think I saw where they start right on the, the sixth string where it goes like that a six string thirteenth, I mean thirteenth rather than a six string. I just go. Then I do the thumb type instead of a bar chord at the eighth fret. I'm gonna do the thumb is getting us eighth fret on the sixth string. Then my third fingers on the tenth fourth string tenth fret, second fingers on the third string ninth, and my first fingers on the second string eighth. So I'm going and a little swat in there. Go down to the sixth fret to B flat. Bring it down to the first fret to F. Then I go like a little whap. Then I hit this bass. Take my middle finger off in the third string and hit the fourth and third together. And do a little hammer on that second fret third string. A C bar down here at the third fret. I'm just to hit that. I know this ain't right here, but it sounds close. I did know it correct at one time, but then over the years you just start playing your own thing. So I'm not going to change it right now. So it goes. Then I'm barring the fifth and fourth string at the third fret. And I hammer on the fifth to the fifth string to the fifth fret. string at the third fret because I'm barring all three of these. I hit that 
twice, let's see. And then I hammer on the fourth string, fifth fret. I'm hitting the fourth and third. Back to the third fret. Then I hit the fifth string, fifth fret. Back to F. So we got F. C. Back to F. And then I have a little bar here on the second and first string, first fret, and I do a hammer. A hammer to the third fret on the second string. Back to the, the little bar there. And I go to regular with C chord. Hit the C. Hit the fifth string, second fret. B flat bar here, just like that C. Back to F. Move that up to the third fret, and you got a G. And just a little. Then my pinky is going to do a little pull off on the second string, fifth fret. Go to the sixth fret. So it's a. once. Back here. One part in the song he does do this little thing where the pinky, you get this little C chord, the pinky gets the first string 10th fret and you do a... And you just walk down half steps. Alright, thanks.